Hi everyone, it's Megan from Gloss Marketing here. I thought I would jump on with a quick tip because I haven't done so lately. And if you attend any of my workshops or consulting, you know that I always tell my clients to do live videos on a regular basis. So I wanted to talk to you about boosting versus a campaign. This is a question that I actually get asked quite a lot in my workshops and my consulting sessions. And People aren't quite sure what um, boosting a post does and a lot of people don't actually know that you can create campaigns in Facebook and which one they should do. So the most important thing for any type of Facebook advertising that you do is actually to create your audiences first. So if you go into your ads manager under the section audiences, you have options of a save, custom and lookalike audiences. You need to create your audiences before you do any type of Facebook or social media advertising. Once you've set up your audiences, it becomes a lot easier to boost a post or create a campaign. Boosting a post is the most simplest form of Facebook advertising. This is where you add advertising dollars to a post that you have done on your Facebook page. So we know that organic reach with posts is really, really low, somewhere probably between one, two, three percent, depending on the type of industry that you're in. So it can be a good idea to boost a post for a wider audience. With boosting posts, you have the objective really of um, getting more engagement. So anytime that you're doing Facebook advertising, you have to think first, what is my objective for this advertising that I'm doing? Generally, when you're boosting a post, the objective is more engagement. I don't see anything wrong with boosting posts. A lot of people won't do it. But I think with boosting posts, I tend to boost it to people who like my page or follow me. I'm, a, I'm of the opinion that they have followed me for a reason or they like my page for a reason. And if organic reach is really low, then I want to get that information out of my Facebook page to the people that are interested in what I'm offering to people that like my page. It also gives me a good indication of what I'm actually posting if it is of interest to those people. So if you're going to boost a post, make sure there is some form of call to action. You wouldn't boost a post that would be, say for example, behind the scenes because there's no call to action involved. If um, you were doing a video like I am, then I might go and actually boost this video after I have done it to get further engagement with my Facebook page. So just think about boosting posts as getting more engagement. Now, when you move into campaigns, this is where you have several objectives. The most popular one is traffic. So this is sending people to your website. If you're going to, if you want to send people to your website, I don't recommend boosting a post. I actually recommend going in and doing a proper campaign in Facebook. So this is where you can set up your traffic objective. You can choose multiple ad sets and you can have multiple ads running within those ad sets as well. So my preference is always, unless you're wanting to just get some extra engagement on your page, go in and actually create campaigns. The most popular ones are traffic. Um, they do have ones where you can increase likes to your page. I don't recommend doing that because the cost of them is really high. Also, they have ones for reach um, and brand awareness. Those Brand awareness ones is pretty much getting brand awareness around social media and it's based on how many people can recall your ad. Um, I tend not to use the brand awareness or the reach ones. I tend to really use the traffic um, as the main consideration. If you are selling something, if you have an online shop, um, whether it could be workshops that you're selling online or you have a physical product, you would use conversion um, because that is optimised for people converting or, or buying something from you. So just remember, boost a post, it's really basic. Try to do it to people who just probably like your page to get extra engagement. But if you will have bigger objectives like sending traffic to your website, people downloading or people buying things, then you would choose a campaign. Um, if you do have any questions about the difference between a boost or a campaign, then please let me know. Um, one thing is you think about your advertising budget as well. When I boost a post, I tend not to boost it any longer than four to five days and probably spend about $10 max on boosting a post as well. So I'd really like to hear about, um, I shall, I'd really like to hear about how you've gone with boosting posts versus campaigns as well, or even if you haven't yet delved into doing campaigns on Facebook.
Have a great day.